Are you interested in and look or looking for a foldable smartphone? You can check out the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 smartphone straight from their official website. This is a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. It includes artificial intelligence capabilities. At the time of this video creation, it's the number 7. Oh, no, no, it's not $700. It's seven six hundred dollars and ninety nine cents. Six hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. See? See the penny? Yeah. If it was seven hundred dollars it'd be too expensive and nobody would order, but it's one cent and everybody can afford it now the orders will flood in. Okay. Now here's an image of it. It is dur during pre order. There are still a few more days that you can pre order, but eventually it'll be out of pre order and then that price could fluctuate. You know what I'm saying? That's an image of it. It's a foldable smartphone. They claim it's ultra light, ultra thin. Has at least three cameras, at least on the front. It might have a camera on the other side. You know what I'm saying? It does include artificial intelligence capabilities. It incorporates and supports search the circle to search which is Google feature you can actually chat in a different language using an interpreter that uses artificial intelligence it includes node assistance which I think is an application that comes with it however the stylus pencil I don't think that it comes with and I think that's an accessory but this Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 does support stylus pens. Photographic assistant, you can move, you can erase, you can enlarge. You can also adjust angles or even fill in backgrounds. Kind of like blue screen effect or well you can just fill in the background and change it. It has sketched image, portrait studio capabilities. You can use Google Gemini, which is a artificial intelligence chatbot. It was known as Bard, I believe. Google renamed Bard to Gemini, I think. Something like that. There are three cameras that you can see. They claim that it weighs 253 grams. A lot of these alleged claims actually have disclaimers at the bottom. You know what I mean? They claim it is 6.1 millimeters thin, and it's a foldable. Thinner and lighter, what else? It comes in four different colors, I think, four or five. I still see three cameras. I don't know if it has more than three. And the different colors are on screen. Black, kind of a white, maybe silver, gray, pink even, maybe blue, dark blue. Okay, now they do have some more specifications down below here. These are just some upsells and accessories, which I'm not going to go over. Okay, now it, do, now it does have four cameras, I believe. It looks like on one side it has one 10 megapixel, and it, it includes a camera cover and a four megapixel under display camera, maybe a total of six. Now on the left-hand side it shows... 112 megapixel ultra wide camera, 150 megapixel wide angle camera to, well, that has two times optical zoom, and 110 megapixel with three times the number three, three times optical zoom, and it's a telephotographic camera. So it might have four, maybe five cameras in totality. Okay, they're, they mentioned the 50 megapixel camera. Uh, Got to zoom in. Okay, why do we need to see from below them? Why? So you can zoom away. Now, two or three times optical zoom isn't bad, but it's you know nothing, nothing earth shattering. But at least it's optical. When cameras, any kind of camera, they claim that the zoom is optical. What they mean by the, that is that the actual lens can zoom mechanically. Digital zoom is when they use software, and a lot of times digital zoom is not that 
good at all, actually. So what I learned is optical zoom is pre preferred over digital zoom. Okay. Yeah, it's hot, huh? Is that supposed to be a pun? You know, some men... <laughs> Well, I'm being serious. Some men might think she's aesthetically pleasing, and they they use the word, you know, Brighton right there, you know? I mean, well, okay, super high definition, and then, okay, so they're bragging. What? She's in a, what, what, is that a jungle? Or, oh, I see a roof up there. Is that, wow, she must be wealthy. Is that her own, like, atrium? Her own, you know, wow, straight out of a movie set. I mean, now it folds, and they can't wait to tell you a million times, I have about two minutes, that this includes artificial intelligence capabilities. You know what I'm saying? What, can you play video games? Looks like you can. I don't think it's designed for video games, but you can play video games, actually. Well, it's not like a gaming smartphone, you know what I mean? But you can play video games. It says here 2600 nits is supported. One and a half times brighter than maybe a predecessor. I'm not sure. Now the microprocessor is a Snapdragon. It doesn't stipulate the exact Snapdragon. But it does. Oh, it's Snapdragon 8 generation and number 3 for Galaxy. They claim graphics processing unit. 19% faster graphics. The NPU. 42% the central processing unit 18% fast performance. I'm not sure if that's stipulated predicated upon their previous Galaxy fold maybe the five. I'm not sure but they do have disclaimers. It says that you can listen to music up to 77 hours the double seven on what on one charge maybe Also, you can watch videos up to get ready for it the number 23 which is the number 32 inverse you can watch videos up to 23 hours and then what kind of video quality is that 1080p is that 4k is there that 144p <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah there's disclaimers on these you know okay i don't really you know care about this but they claim it's tough engineered for endurance and that is close to this video pertaining to the samsung galaxy yeah oh, yeah okay so it's outside yeah, that one, it shows five cameras. Huh. Some frequently asked questions. I have a few more seconds here. How durable is it? And a bunch of disclaimers at the bottom, which I'm not going to go over. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That is this video pertaining to this Samsung Galaxy Z Fold number 6 smartphone. Adios.